spend $50,000 a year on furs and gowns. And she bedecks herself with jewelry worth $15 million. A collection rivaled, some say, only by that of Cleopatra. Eva has ambitions of becoming the power behind the throne. To the poor workers, her shirtless one, she says, You see, I was once no better than you are, but look at me now. She promises that they can all be Cinderella's, if only they'll believe in her. 1947, Eva Peron sets out on a highly publicized trip to Europe a trip intended to increase her fame and prestige. On her arrival in Spain, she is greeted by Francisco Franco. Eva relishes the elaborate formality of the welcoming ceremony. But more gratifying is the reception she receives from the people of Madrid. considered Argentina a land of golden promise and incredible wealth. From friends and relatives who have settled there, they've heard glowing tales of the nation and of Eva Perón. They flock to see her by the thousands. Stirred by the reaction of these people, Eva declares, my simple woman's heart has begun to vibrate with the eternal chords of immortal Spain. Splendid ceremony, Franco presents Eva with the highest decoration Spain can bestow. In turn, Eva promises to send a shipload of wheat as a gift to the people of Spain. The first stop on her tour has proved successful far beyond Eva's expectations. In Italy, she makes a radio broadcast. She says, my name has become a battle cry for women the world over. But during her stay there, no great crowds gather to see her, to cheer her. She is received with official formality, but little fanfare. Her Paris reception is much the same as that she received in Italy. She participates in a round of ceremonial visits. But after her experiences in Spain, this part of her trip is disappointing to Eva. Within a few days, she will cut short her tour of Europe and leave for home. to Argentina, she is showered with adulation by her shirtless ones. But Eva Peron wants more than the cheers of the mob. She wants to be more than just the wife of the dictator. Only a few years ago, she was struggling for bit parts in motion pictures. Now, at the age of 27, Eva Peron decides that she must reach for her share of personal power over Argentina. And she vows that nothing will stand in her way, not even Perot.